Why is that going by? I'm not pressing it anymore. I'm not pressing... I don't know how to... I don't know what to think about this. I mean, it kind of almost looks like I know what I'm doing right now, but I'm totally out of control. <gasps> oh, it's freaking out. It's freaking out. Why is it doing this? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Trail Makers. Last time, we worked on making a helicopter that was a very difficult and hilarious process. And this time, I actually kind of want to do something similar, but different. Because I was driving, I had a really long drive the other day, and I looked up in the sky, and I saw one of these things just flying through the air. And I've heard of these things, and I, I've seen pictures of them before, but I've never actually seen one in real life. And I was watching a thing, and it just looked really majestic, and I was thinking to myself, that could work in Trailmakers, theoretically speaking. I thought of a couple of things, and I have a little test thing right here because there was one mechanic that I wasn't sure trail makers would be able to accommodate. And that is, if I want the propellers to be able to rotate forward, the problem I was seeing was that you see these rotation pieces here? They don't always stay in sync with each other, especially when they encounter some resistance. You can see that they're actually starting to get off a little bit from each other. So I was a little, uh oh, there we go. Yeah, I was a little bit worried. Actually, it's doing pretty well, but they do tend to get off. Yet yeah, it's getting more and more off sync. So I was worried that that would be an issue. So my test was this. Oh, that was weird. My test was this. What if I actually attach these two blocks? The question was, is it going to be like scrap mechanic where they're technically not attached and without welding them, or are they going to be automatically welded? And here are the results of that test. They stay together. Look at that. Even when they fight resistance, they're actually attached. So this will keep the joints, the spinning joints, locked symmetrically with each other. So that means that I have to attach them somehow, one end, one propeller to another, one rotor to another, to create this spinning motion. But I have ideas. It's not going to look exactly like the Osprey, but it'll, it'll have the same kind of dual rotor function. So let's get building. Alright, so here we have what I'm thinking will be the basic mechanism for how the thing is going to rotate. So I'm basically going to extend the propellers, uh, the rotors, out from this right here. So hopefully the only thing I'm worried about is stability or strength, because they seem a little bit like they're prone to bending. So when I add more weight to it and even uh, lift and resistance, I'm curious how it's going to manage. But Proof of concept, I think, is here, so I'm excited. Um, alright, I just- I just tried to do the first test here. It's looking good so far. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect. Uh, Alright, so I think it's actually the proof of concept is here. One of the things I forgot about was that um, the, the propellers give lift regardless of which direction they're spinning. So I was trying to go up and down, but I was just going up and up because reversing the direction doesn't do anything. Uh, but if you if, if you take a look, um, we are pretty much where it, it the proof of concept is still working. Um, the only thing, okay, yeah, that makes sense. If I was to rotate it now, then uh, the cockpit would be the thing that rotates and not the propellers, because you know, physics. I'm gonna save this thing for now so we don't lose this progress. And I'm gonna show you guys something cool I figured out. I had no idea because it's not in the controls or any, any help anywhere, but if you press tab, check this out. You have teleport stations, so I can go ahead and teleport right back to where we were. Isn't that dandy? All right, time to get building.
Okay, I think we have a testable prototype. I haven't actually tested it yet. So the controls I have set up is uh, space is gonna presume. We're gonna be back heavy. All right, we're gonna have to deal with that. But uh, so space is lift. Um, we got W and S is supposed to be pitch. Um, we're gonna just use the normal roll uh, that's built into the seat. And then I have T, look at this, look at this. I have T and G to control these things. I'm just so happy that they actually work. Uh, but we are definitely gonna have to deal with weight management. But uh, let's just do a first test run and see what happens. Here we go. Perfect. All right, we're off to a good start. But well, honestly, I actually think this is a good start. To be to be honest, everything is start working the way I wanted it to work. I'm not running into any weird glitches or issues yet. But we're gonna find out soon enough. All right. Next up, we need to just do some weight adjustment because once this thing can go up in the air like normally, then we're gonna see if this thing actually works the way it's supposed to work. Okay. So now we need to add some weight to the front. What did we discover? has good weight, besides the jet engines. Okay, apparently the swivel joint weighs 75. I think that's more than everything else. And it doesn't really do anything, so I think we can just go ahead and put this on the front and see what that does. Oh, there goes our tail. All right, here we go. Nope, we still need some more in the front. Let's just put a bunch of swivel joints in the front and see if that helps us out here. Copy, copy, copy. This is just weird. All right, there we go. Oh, look, that totally worked. <laughs> Maybe one less, <laughs> it's all bendy. That is really funny. I like the way that they actually bend. I mean, it's probably not the like, most ideal if you want to use them for stuff, maybe, but I think this is actually gonna work if we just delete one. We'll see if this, uh, if this gives us some more even weight here. All right, oh, well that doesn't help. All right, how's this doing? All right, we're doing better. We're doing a little bit better. All right, how about, wait, what happened? We were lifting and now we're not. All right, I'm gonna repair. Why would that just, all right, there we go. Now we have lift. All right, oh, okay. All right, something weird is going on. The lift vanishes. For some reason, the lift vanishes after I crash land. I don't know why that is. Cause see, look, all right, we have lift, right? All right, and oh, whoa, the tail is doing weird stuff. The tail is very, very sensitive to the aerodynamics. All right, what if I go forward? Oh boy. All right, the weight adjustment is gonna be. Why is that going by? I'm not pressing it anymore. I'm not pressing. I'm not doing nothing. Alrighty then. What was that? Okay, there's some weird things going on here. It just keeps breaking. Stop breaking, just land. All right, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna add another engine. Maybe we need a little bit faster. No, I need, I need to add two more engines. One per propeller. All right, let's see how this works. Oh, much better with the balance. But there is an inconsistency with the amount of lift I'm getting. Like, watch, I'm not even gonna lift off the ground now. So much for saying I'm not running into any weird glitches. It's like it wants to. Kinda, almost. Uh-oh, it's a little bit front heavy now. All right, you know what? I'm going to get rid of these for now. All right, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna half them. I'm just gonna take and get rid of half of them. I have a feeling they might be giving me some issues. I can't. Why can't I take off? Whoop. Okay. Maybe I'm just too heavy. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do yet. I'm gonna. I'm gonna shorten myself. I'm gonna take away some weight. There we go. That was pretty easy to just shorten that. And I'm gonna take one of these things off to hopefully counteract that a little bit. Let's see if this uh, does any better. All right, let's uh, go ahead and repair ourselves. All right, whoa. All right, we're definitely front heavy. Let's take, whoop, take off another one of our swivel joints. There we are. All right, how are we doing now? I feel like we're doing a little bit better. I feel like we, we could do even better though. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, respawn ourselves up on Jump Island here. Very clever name, this big island that's a jump. All right, how's it feeling? 
How's it feeling? Oh, look at this! Oh, I totally just used my propellers to correct myself. Alright, this is kind of cool. I don't think this is exactly the way it's supposed to work. Nope. It- it wants to- That's weird. I- I don't know how to- I don't know how to- I don't know what to think about this. Do not know what to think about this. <laughs> this is not working as intended. Oh boy. It- What do I- I'm kind of speechless here, like that's- It was working, but at the same time, very much so not working. Alright. No, 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 no. See, the whole body wants to tilt forward when I do the thing, when I bring the propellers forward, and I think that's because the propellers are actually above the center of mass. I'm looking at the picture right now, and I'm wondering how does that thing actually work? Why does the body, does the body need, I can't add more weight to the body because then the propellers won't get enough lift. I'm gonna do something kind of weird here. It might look a little bit weird, but I'm going to replace each of these with one of these. And I think technically it should still work. All right, I'm gonna see what this does, if anything. I feel like having the big weights underneath is kind of important. But we'll try it with and without, depending on how this works. All right, let's see what happens. Why is that happening? Why is, I could have sworn this was symmetrical. Um, okay, this has to not be symmetrical somewhere. There's no way that should be happening unless this was not symmetrical. Does this look not symmetrical in any way to you? I'm not seeing it. It looks perfectly symmetrical to me. Why would one side all of a sudden have more lift than the other? Because in my last video, I thought, I thought one would have more lift than the other, but it was because something wasn't actually symmetrical. I had one of the propellers closer to the center of the body, which made sense. But this seems to actually be reconfirming what I thought was true before. Why is it doing that? Is it the tail? Right, I'm gonna delete the tail entirely in case this is interfering in some weird way. Oh no, wait, what? That was weird. Did you see what just happened? This thing was stuck in the air. Okay, there we go. It's all better now. Wait, whoa. Is something broken? I am very confused on why one side is lifting more than the other right now. Right, I'm just gonna try to control it. I mean, it kind of almost looks like I know what I'm doing right now, but I'm totally out of control. It just keeps wanting the circle around. I mean, it's kind of working out. What happens if I go forward? Whoa, it changed. There's some weird physics going on right now. Maybe one of the engines isn't hooked up right. The, 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 only, the only explanation I can see is that, whoa, where did... Hello? Vehicle? I can't look up. Be oh, why am I underneath the land? Okay, why don't we go ahead and teleport back? That was a little awkward. So what was the- yeah, the only explanation I can think of is one of the engines has to be not powering when it should be. Oh, Hypothesis confirmed. That should be going to the right one with space. That- I think is why. So this should fix it. I think I just canceled everything out. It all looks like it's hooked up correctly, but now the button isn't doing anything. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna delete the engines and I'm gonna just redo it. I'm gonna just gonna do one engine a piece for now. Okay. All right. Yeah. This definitely we have let we have less lift than we did before, but it's it's technically. There it goes again. I think it's technically working as intended. Except for the fact that I've spawned underneath the map again. Okay, all right, it's kind of working. We have something. All right, now let's see what happens if I tilt them fo- Uh-oh, uh-oh, see what happens if I tilt them forward? Oh, it tilts our entire thing forward, which kind of makes sense, because the propellers are above our center of mass, which would mean that it would tilt us forward. 
but it looks like the propellers are above the center of mass on the actual Osprey, unless it just has a lot of center of mass. Wait. I don't think I'm a good enough aerodynamical engineer to, to understand what's go Whoa, that piece went- Look how far that piece went flying! Alright, well let's try this again, because we're almost kind of- We almost kind of got like a working prototype here. The only thing we don't have, once again, is yaw, which we could add in. Alright, and forward. Whoa, no, backward, back, back, All right, forward again. Forward again. Back- Alright, this is- this is the wonkiest Osprey you've ever seen. This is that this is the wonkiest Osprey I could have imagined. It is so hard to control. Alright, uh, let's let's go ahead and teleport back now. Alright, I added the second engines again to give them more power, and the same thing's happening. Like, this is so weird. When I add double power, only one of them actually gets double the power, it looks like, which I don't understand why that's happening. Alright, so uh two engines then it is. We gotta stick with the two engines, which means we cannot add that much more weight. What we could add is more propellers, maybe though. So let's try that then. Alright, uh let's see how this works. If at all. Whoa, oh, they're apparently touching each other. Why are they touching each other? They shouldn't be it looks like only one is it really wait why Okay, that side, we definitely need a little bit more, a little bit more space in between them, like one more block worth of space. So let's go ahead and, uh, do that, shall we? Okay, let's see if this is any better. Oh, well, there goes our tail again. Oh, wait, we are weighted pretty well. Interesting. And then can we still move ourselves forward? Yes, and it still pitches us down. But now I think we can add more weight to counteract that, maybe. I don't know. Who, who knows? We'll find... Did it happen again? It happened again, didn't it? So I'm gonna do something a little bit weird here. Um, Alright, let's see what this does, other than probably put way too much weight in the back. Yeah, way too much weight in the back. Oh, you know what? I think I can actually do this a little bit better. Okay, we just had a kind of like a little bit of like a fuselage thing. Um, I don't think that should interfere with our propellers at all, but we'll find out. Let's see how it does with the weight though. I feel like something weird just happened there. All right, there we go. Oh, interesting. All right, so now how is this going? Whoops. All right, interesting. How is this going to affect our tilt? Oh, I can't. Is it not working anymore? That's weird. All right, apparently it is affecting my ability to rotate the blocks. And it makes the entire thing rotate, kind of like a suspension glitch almost. Yeah, see, look, look what's happening. Oh, no. Oh, it's freaking out. It's freaking out. Why is it doing this? Oh, that is funny stuff right there. Okay, we're going to have to make this one block higher for sure. What happens if we go the other? Ooh. This is fun. This is exactly what I... Did my seat just collapse from the entire thing? Yeah, my seat just detached. There we are, so this should resolve our- Why is there a wing there? Oh, that makes sense, actually. Alright, yeah, there we go. That works now. Okay, now let's see how- we'll, then Let's see what happens. Whoops. Whoops, up, please, up. It's almost better. Oh. Whoa, 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 wait, what? That's kind of weird. It doesn't- you know, this might be where the tail comes into play. Let's add a tail to it. Here, let's uh, go ahead and respawn back on our, I on our island there. This, I think that we might we might be onto something if we just put our tail back on. All right, go up. Now forward. It's something. It does not, this is not, this is worse. The tail did. All right, we got a Y wing now or whatever the, the Star Wars thing that goes like this. This is the weirdest helicopter that actually kind of works. Uh oh, it it it, it literally almost kind of works. It, I, I'm about to take that back. Yeah, I'm taking that back right now. The things I come up with in this game. Like, look, it 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 looks it looks majestic when it's not flopping around in the air. Like, look at this. I mean, if you saw this thing coming at you over the ocean. What would you be thinking? You're thinking that thing, that thing means business, right? But once it starts acting all crazy, like once it gets off, off center or something, I mean, it, it really does kind of work to be on. Oh, whoop, 
Okay, all right, let's... Oh, wait, can I... Oh, no, 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 into the ocean we go. Bye. Does it not float? Is it really not gonna float? Is that it? Is it coming up? Is it coming up? Oh, there it goes! It's like a dolphin! <laughs> it just literally flipped out of the ocean like a dolphin. Here it comes again. Here it comes again. That's my impression of a dolphin. Here it comes! <laughs> oh, that was great. Uh, I, th I, I think I did- it's still- it's, it's floating away like a dolphin. It's- I think I got it to work as- as much as I wanted it to as far as everything that was functioning. I got the tail on there, I got the- the rotors to do their thing. It's just that with everything in place the way I wanted it to be in place, it just didn't work the way it was supposed to, which I don't know if that was my fault. I mean, I'm looking at the picture here and it- I don't know- I don't know how they avoid this kind of craziness. I mean, probably because they're not working in an- in an alpha demo world. They're working with actual, reliable, real physics. Um, I think I just answered my own question there. But yeah, let me know what you thought about it. Uh, what was your favorite part of the episode? Leave a timestamp down below. If you don't know already, there is now an official Scrapman Discord, so if you wanna- if you wanna be able to chat with me on occasion with other fellow Scrappers who are a fan of the channel and play games like this, Click the link down in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to see more content like this. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye. It's like a whale with its tail sticking out of the water. It's going whale watching right now. It's his tail. Welcome to the end screen. Well, you'll probably click away before I get to tell you to subscribe for more fun. And if you really like me, but like not in a creepy way, support me on Patreon. Oh yeah, check out this awesome video I made over here. It's probably even better than this one. Or it might be worse, actually. But if you don't click it, I guess you'll never know.